Hi and welcome to Coding with Roby. I'm Eric and today you'll be building your first video game in your Python terminal. Okay, so the game we will be creating is Rock, Paper, Scissors. This is a simple game that is more about luck than skill. So the first thing we need to do is import random from the standard library. Let's now create a new function called rock, paper, scissors. Let's now create a new variable called player one score, which is equal to zero and player two score, which is equal to zero. Player one score and player two score will keep track of each player's score until one equals three. So now we'll print playing best out of three. Let's create a new variable called game over, which is equal to a Boolean false. And while not game over, so we'll keep running this while loop until game over is equal to true. So while not game over, player one equals random dot rand int one three. We now want to do the same thing for player two. So player two equals random dot rand int one three. So how I'm going to build this is one equals rock, two equals paper, and three equals scissors. So therefore we're dealing with only integers. Now let's print the famous rock paper scissors shoot. And underneath rock, paper, scissors, shoot, I'm going to create another print with just a whole bunch of dashes to kind of separate the logic in the terminal. So if player one is equal to one, that means player one has a rock. So if player two is equal to one, then we'll print rock draws rock. L if player two equals two, well that means player two now has paper. So rock loses to paper. And lastly we'll write a L statement, which means player two now has three. Therefore rock beats scissors. Now we're going to want to do this three more times, so I'm just going to copy and paste this entire if else statement right under this if else statement. Now I'm going to just change if to elif, and I'm going to change player one equals two. So now player one has paper. So if player two now has rock, well then paper beats rock. If player two has two, then paper draws paper. In the last situation is paper loses the scissors. I'm going to copy and paste it one more time, but I'm going to change the LF to else. Therefore player one now has three, which is scissors. So if player two is equal to one, then scissors loses the rock. If player two is equal to two, which means paper, so scissors beats paper. And then lastly, scissors draw scissors. We now need to add points. So when you see a lose, that means player one loses, so player two gets a point. If it says beats, that means player one scores. 
So under rock loses paper, we'll say player two score plus equal one. And then under rock beats scissors, I'll say player one score plus equal one. Now under paper beats rock, player one plus equal one. And so on and so forth all the way through the application. So now each time one of these if else statements are called, we're accurately adding points to either player one or player two score. So let's now print their score so every time the user knows what the score is. So I'm going to create a new print statement. I'm going to use three single quotation marks, which means multi-line strings. I'm going to say player one equals player one score. And player two equals player two score. Remember, I can concatenate integers within this string because I'm using the F for format. And now finally, I'll say if player one score is greater than or equal to three, or player two score is greater than or equal to three, then game over equals true. This will stop the loop, therefore the game is over. Now let's call the function. So rock, paper, scissors. And let's right click and run the app. And there we have it. Um, I won. <laughs> so rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock beats scissors, score one to zero. Let's rerun the application. This time player two won, but it was a close one. Well, now let's add the ability for the user to pick rock, paper, or scissors against the robot. Let's create a new function called user input. I'm going to create a new variable called valid play, which is equal to false. While not valid play, so I'm going to recreate a while loop to ask the user for an input. User choice equals input, where I'm going to ask rock, paper, or scissors. I'm going to print an empty string um, that'll separate it within the terminal, make it look a little cleaner. So if user choice dot upper, I'm going to make sure whatever the user types in, it's all capitalized equals rock, then return one. Elif user choice dot upper is equal to paper. Return two. I'm gonna do another elif and not an else and I'll show you why. So elif user choice dot upper is equal to scissors return three. Oh, it looks like I forgot the colon, so I'm gonna add those real quick. And now for the else, I'm going to print not a valid play. Now within the rock, paper, scissors function, I'm gonna say player one equals user input. So right here, it's asking rock, paper, or scissors. I'm gonna type in rock, looks like I won. I'm gonna type in scissors. Oh no, one, one. I'm gonna type in scissors again. It was a tie. Paper, one, two. Paper, one, two, it was a tie. Two, two. And then we finally lost. So player two, one. And there you go, you have rock, paper, scissors. So another enhancement you could do is have user two also type in an input. This is a fun little application that'll teach you a lot and how a lot of things render within Python. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and I'll see you in the next video.